Howdy folks and welcome to a game called Don't Scream. What I'm doing right now is currently I'm testing out, ooh, that's way too loud. The idea is you use your microphone and you're traveling a forest and if you scream, you die or something terrible will happen. A man will come to your house and take your elbows and you need those. Uh, that's why I hear anyway. The reason why it's turning red is because anytime I talk loud, it qualifies as a scream. Uh, this game's all about jump scares, so if you happen, I think I'm gonna set it down to three because I do get loud. Okay, mute sensitivity, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, I think without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? There is like an introduction little video that the developer made while doing this that basically gives you an overview of what the game's all about. This game's on Steam and on sale at the moment, so if you're quick, you can play this game for yourself. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I screamed. Okay, so if you scream, we'll die. Okay, so walking around in the woods. So I have to be very quiet. This game's all about jump scares, so I'm interested to see. Oh, this game looks amazing, by the way. Oh, oh I can play with the controller. Excellent. Oh, and I just. Okay, I'm interested to see. From what I understand of it, this is going to be a huge, huge map. I'm gonna have my volume up just a little bit, and I'm gonna have to increase the volume in post because I don't think you guys can even hear it. Because it's Halloween, I figured, hey, tis the season, so don't scream. Tons of horror movies are like screamer films, slasher films, so... Oh, I really hope this turns out well in post. No jumping option. No running option. So it's just one speed only, but I can crouch. Oh. How does... how does that work? Ah! No! I didn't scream! I just talked loudly! Come on, man! Because I want to talk normally, man! Alright, now let's play. Okay, now I can talk normally without dying. I like to lean. So this is like a lost footage type game. A huge open world environment that's basically trying to scare you, and if you scream, you die. So, that was, that was on me. That was on me. <laughs> Come on guys, give me give me a break, okay? I would appreciate it if they had like a uh, a noise bar at the bottom to symbolize how loud you're being currently because there's my OBS volume which is bouncing up and down like from yellow to red and then there's my voice volume in this which I have to adjust manually. But anyway, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Oh man, this is so cool. The lean is just a little bit funky. This is cool, man. This is so cool. Okay. Seen a whole lot of nada. So what exactly am I supposed to be doing in this? Because there wasn't any other direction from from what I understand that I'm supposed to be finding or supposed to be doing exactly. There's no... Oh, I see. Survive 18 minutes without screaming, however, there's a catch. Time only progresses when you move and all scares are unpredictable. That's cool. And scares are unpredictable, so it can happen at any point. So I just need to be careful and on my guard. Please, I've never ever been scared before in my life. Okay. I just need to not scream or talk loudly, apparently. Because, I mean, I can just... Ah, now that's a problem. That's an issue. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in here. Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Uh, oh. They're, these guys are still swinging. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Bad things happen here. Yeah. Bad things happen. Bad things happen. What was that? Okay. 
Okay, I'm going in. Excuse me, sir. This game would be so much fun in VR. Oh my gosh. Just the, just the look of this. Like you're running around. All you have to do is just explore. That is so cool. That is super cool. I like that a lot. I don't know why I'm like talking quietly. Like super. I don't know why I'm talking like crazy quietly. Because I already configured the volume in the menu. But there's just but there's just something about the environment that just makes it feel like all closed in and nope, nope, I'm not looking. Excuse me. Don't don't do it. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I I would never. Because unlike other let's play horror gamers, I don't need a reaction. Oh, this gives me such Slenderman vibes. Which I heard, actually, there's another Slender, not a new game, but an adaptation of an older game, Slender the, uh, Slender the Arrival, which is based off of Slender the Eight Pages, which I did play before, like on the old Xbox 360. But this one's going to be a re revamp of the original game. So it's going to be new graphics. I don't think there's going to be anything new in story, anything new to explore, but it's going to look so good and I want to play it so badly. I'm not sure if it's out yet. I'm sure there's already some demo trailers. I know the trailer's already out. I saw it and it looks gorgeous. Don't like it. And I'll just have to play it. Like I really I really want to play it super badly. Oh no, no. There's a shadow there. That's really weird. You're not gonna get me, game. You're not gonna get me. I'm not ready. Wait, how many minutes did it say? 18 minutes. I'm already like eight minutes into this. I might as well be over because honestly, I'm a master of horror games. I saw this game and I was like, hey, wouldn't this be exciting? A game where you're trying not to make a reaction. Hello? Hello? Okay, so we got beavers. In, in, in the woods. Chopping down trees? Oh, look! A chopped down tree. This was clearly not, like, chewed on. <laughs> Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to sh shush, shush. I know, I know you're back there. And I don't right appreciate that. Okay? None of that. I don't want none of it. So what monster is out here that's gonna get me? There was, like, that cabin back there where people were just hanging out. And I didn't get to see what was in that, uh... Is that a light? Is that a house? No. But, uh, I didn't get to see what was in that vending machine earlier. Also, I didn't get to get in the house because the door was locked. No trees. Okay, this is interesting. I don't... No, 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 no. You can't scare me, game. You can't. Wanna know why? Because I am diffused from your horror nonsense. I am an impeccable, impenetrable shield. A stone wall of, what's the word? Emotionlessness and just not afraid of anything. You know what? I'm gonna climb this hill. I'm gonna climb it. Oh, I'm loving this game, by the way. It looks so good. It reminds me of uh, Blair Witch, actually, which is a movie I have not seen, but I really need to. It's just a classic horror movie. I actually don't know if it's like the first one of its genre. 
Hey, the name of the game is Don't Scream, guys. Come on. This isn't a I can do but you can't sort of situation. Uh oh. Did you guys see that? There was 100% a person right here. Tell me that was just. the door. That was creepy. Body my lips, you can't do it, game. You can't do it. There's no scaring me. There's no scaring me. This is super interesting. I'm like in this a lot. Is he yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going from there. Let's keep going. <laughs> also, I don't think crows fly straight up into the air like rockets. Is old lady following me? Also, is it getting more grainy? Easy, easy, easy. This, this isn't even a horror game. This is an experience of endurance, of stability, and of awareness of oneself and that of the forums. Keeping... Keeping your mind and what is in front of you separate so you don't become unhinged this is it actually in reality a joyful experience that can be described in the three words calm serene serenic i think that's the term i think i think that's the word serene and so calm serene and Relaxing. I got it. Don't. I got it. It's really good. What's falling? There's not. There's no trees up there. No. What up, lady? Oh, headless lady. Nope. Not doing it. Because I am this close. I really have to I have I really have to clear my throat like really bad. There's like a lot of mucus just hanging out there and it's like Ooh, hey buddy. <laughs> but I know if I do, I'm gonna die. A war of death. Do you see I'm I'm hearing There's that shadow again. It's really cool. I love the old style. Th these games are really good about making it look realistic. Just the low res. This is really cool. I'm loving this so much. <laughs> Almost got me. Almost got me. Most because it's really loud in the ears. But I, I turned it up because it is super quiet. And I think that's the point. Like everything's everything else is supposed to be more subtle. This would make such developer if you're watching. Please make this a VR game. It, it might actually already be, but this is an early access. I forgot to mention that before. This is an early access game. So Who's peeing in the woods, man? Nope. Nope. Two minutes in, I'm not letting go. I'm doing so well. Oh, the 
this person right there. are tingling. I hate it. I hate it. Please no. It's so good about setting an atmosphere. gotta help things it's easy lady don't even bother don't even try like I, can say. I need to shut up because I, I know if I'm talking my mouth is open so uh, I need to not did it. So, uh, what now? I mean, I beat it. So... Am I... <coughs> well, it's still going. Woo! I did it! During our early access phase, we'll actively listen to players feedback on enhancing game and plan on adding the following more dynamic scares the expansion of game lore i would love that i mean obviously the point of this game is supposed to have basically jump scares unsettling no i didn't get to read the rest of the list that's unfortunate maybe it says on the stream as uh, on the steam page hold on hold on hold on okay so i'm looking at the steam page the deeper game lore yes obviously the point of this game is to have a less than involved world where you're just sort of walking around and things are presented to you it's more reacting but you're not acting there's nothing much to do in that regard so i would love there to be a story more of a obviously more scares a difference because if you see the same scare over and over again then it's going to get a little it's going to get boring real quick so definitely needs more scares i mean i i didn't see everything i didn't go and actually <laughs> put myself in front of one of the, like the standing headless figures or whatever the i love the ambiance the ambiance was fantastic obviously it was just just jump scares anything that you can do that that'll improve the story i think would be great because i want to know what's going on like in uh, blair witch there were some more subtle things going on but there were things happening around you and you can figure out stuff so anything that gets the player to act rather than just react and have them put pieces of a puzzle together like having pages for example something simple like that or having something actively chase you i, I don't know achievements giving someone something to do like maybe surviving maybe like having an endless mode that would be super cool play it your way discover new places i do think that would be a cool addition where it's not just trees like there was a house in the beginning like after the sky turned dark what, what was with that uh vending machine in the background that barn that was very cool and i'd love to see more of that just not just a forest i love this even in early access this is such a fun game and i re highly recommend you all play it See if you can survive 18 minutes. Maybe I'll play this again in my free time. Maybe explore a little bit more in the open forest. I think that's going to be it for me. So until my next video, I hope you all have a good one, folks. Catch you later.